Hey guys, welcome to game two of round two. Uh, it didn't make any sideboarding changes. Uh, normally, combo decks, uh, you want to sideboard out your wraths, but Route is uh, a bit of an exception. Uh, if the game goes long and he decides to do any sneak attack shenanigans, I can just route during his combat step, so um, that's that's definitely an option. Uh, and also, have, I actually have a bunch of ways of interacting with this kind of deck, so uh, it should be pretty good. Um, this hand is a bit of a mulligan, though, so it's, it's only got two lands. Um, and it's got a bunch of cards that like don't do anything unless I have a bunch of lands, so I, I think I have to toss this one back. And this hand is almost as bad, but at least I have Eternal Dragon to get me uh, to get me more lands. So I, I like it. Your Phantasmal Image can uh, can do some work against this deck. I mean, he's playing Caracas and not to bounce his opponent's legends, so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, so hopefully he doesn't have like a blisteringly fast start. Well, that's the start of a blisteringly fast start. Okie dokie. Just play land and say go. Exiling Lotus Bloom. Alright. Well, we drew a land, so we don't have to fetch up another one right just yet. Uh, I think I should Edict here, like, he's only ever going to sack Birds of Paradise to it, so I might as well get maximum value out of it. Slows him down a little bit too, so that's pretty much what I'm looking for. There's a land. I think we're just going to play our Hollow Fountain tapped and uh, Plane Cycle our Eternal Dragon in a turn. If he has a sneak attack in his hand, then we pretty much lose because he'll be able to do whatever he wants to us. Fortunately, I did not draft any counter spells. Oh, shit. Okay, I almost uh, almost forgot to do this. Let's do this now. Planes. Uh, well, unfortunately, we can't do anything this turn, so... His Lotus Bloom is going to hit the table. And hopefully we don't die this turn. Gideon should provide pretty good protection if we manage to cast it, so it's, it just makes the sneak attacks really bad because uh, he's not attacking me, he's attacking Gideon. I mean, Emrakul still does, still does a lot of work, so... But uh, since we're going into his combat step, it looks like he does not have the sneak attack, so we are free to uh, start some beatdowns here. Oh, the Grave Father. That's a good one. Uh, I think the play here is to play Elspeth. So we can bring it up to five and get rid of his stupid Lotus Bloom. I like it. Ship the turn. Oh, did he draw it? <laughs> That's just silly. Like, the only reason I played the Elspeth that turn is I just assume I didn't have it. Maybe I should have played Gideon instead. Let's 
Pretty good. What's he gonna do? Yeah, Blightsteel Colossus, sure. That was a fun game.